Hi friends, welcome back to Awesome Kids. Happy is a man who is living by his hobby. This is a famous quote by George Bernard Shaw. I hope all of you have hobbies. Today, let me tell you about a unique hobby which needs a license to do. It is a friendly, scientific and high-tech hobby and it is hobby recognized by the United Nations. It is none other than amateur radio or popularly known as ham radio. There is a very interesting reason why I selected this topic today. I will be revealing it in the end of this video. And I am sure you will be surprised when you know the reason behind it. So watch till the end without skipping. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. All of you may have heard about ham radios, right? But do you know what it really is? It is a worldwide hobby of two-way radio communication practiced by the private citizen with a license. People use ham radios to talk across the town, around the world or even into space without the use of internet or cell phones. Ham radio operators communicate with each other using wireless transceivers in different ways. Ham radio got started, amateur radios got started in the beginning of 20th century and in many ways it was the first social network of its kind. Ham radio operators are often called hams. There are nearly 3 million hams worldwide. There are even more people who follow the hobby purely as listeners. United States and Japan account for about two-thirds of the ham population in the world. India too has an enthusiastic community of hams, most of whom are based in South India. These summer shows come from different sections of the society. You never know who you will be running into while communicating with ham radios. It could be young people, retires, professionals, laymen, housewives, film stars or even rulers. There are even ham astronauts who take radios with them into space shuttle missions and thrill thousands of hams in, on earth with a call from space. Among the famous hams in India are Amitabh Bachchan, late Prime Minister Raji Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Kamal Hassan and Mamuti. Now you might be thinking who all can become a ham? Any individual above the age of 12 can become an amateur radio operator by passing the amateur station license exam conducted by the Department of Telecommunication in India. It is understood that anyone with an interest for electronics or communication can easily pass this exam. There is no formal education required and only basic knowledge is enough. Amateur radios are still relevant in these days of social media like WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, etc. The century-old ham networking is still attracting new enthusiasts by embracing the latest technology. When severe natural calamities like earthquakes, cyclones, floods, etc. happens, it will distract or swallow everything in its way, including communication infrastructures. Ham radio plays a vital role in several such calamities by establishing communication links between the affected area and the concerned agencies to rescue the people and to rescue the people and supply them with essential items effectively. After all, any hobby that lets you to speak to a geologist in Antarctica, an astronaut on the International Space Station, or the captain of a sailing ship on the ocean with just a ham radio is nothing short of incredible. Now let us look at some interesting facts about amateur radio. If you have ever wondered why amateur radio operators are called hams, then the story goes like this. Ham was the station call of the first amateur wireless station operated by amateurs from the Harvard Radio Club. Their names were Albert S. Heyman, Bob Almay, and Pugi Murray. The name Ham was taken from the first letters of their surnames. Ham operators also say that the word Ham signifies help or mankind. Interestingly, in Ham terminology, male operators are called old men and female operators are called young ladies, no matter what their actual age is. Now let me reveal you the reason for selecting this topic today. This is my grandfather. A couple of years ago, on a vacation, 
My sister and I used to curiously watch him, repeatedly saying the words Zulu Mike Mike by catching a mobile phone like device. My sister, who was very young at that time, started complaining that my grandpa was only calling the nickname of mine and not hers, as I'm fondly called at home Zulu. Actually, he was communicating his call sign during a harm conversation. Yes, you guessed it right. He's a harm with the call sign VU3ZMM, that is Victor Uniform 3 Zulu Mike Mike, from a village of Malapuram in Kerala. He's really enjoying his special hobby and that is why I thought to share it with you. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please do share it with your friends and relatives and comment your opinions below. Thank you for watching.